My name's Philip Dewey. I'm standing for the Brexit party, and I believe we should get Brexit done. My name is Mackenzie Alexander Smith, standing for the Labour Party. Uh, I'm a man of the people, and I think that we, as a government, should be benefiting the people, the many, not the few. I'm Zane Sharif, and I'm standing for the Green Party, and I believe that we should do more to save our planet and make our world greener. I'm Emily Young, and I'm standing for the Liberal Democrats, and we want to stop Brexit. My name is Oliver Barker and I want you to back Barker to get Brexit done, make our economy boom and allow our country to win. Leave. We've put ourselves at the mercy of the EU, we voted leave and then we let them dictate the rules of the game. Let's do what the British public voted for, say goodbye to the EU, wave goodbye, say sayonara, get Brexit done, so that we can move on free from this manipulative trade block as a free country to become the superpower we once were again. We think that actually Brexit, it needs to be resolved. We've had three years, nothing's been done. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and we've been told different dates over and over again. With Labour, we could give you a date, we can give you a vote, let you vote on the actual deal, let you know what you're going to be getting yourself into and get Brexit resolved. I think we should stay in the EU, work with our European partners to maintain peace so, and help lead the fight against the climate emergency. I want to remain because so far Brexit has proven to be a disaster for our country because we've lost £70 billion and the value of the, of the pound has decreased by 15%. So we would um, simply revoke Article 50 if we got a majority government, meaning we're normally back in the EU, or if we didn't get a majority government, we would... Um, absolutely support a second referendum. To answer the question, I don't see Brexit as an issue. It is an opportunity. We have a fantastic deal that is oven ready, it's ready to go, pop it in the microwave, stick it on, and we will get Brexit done. And we will move on to the more important things. A vote for the other parties is a vote for dither and delay. We cannot allow that to happen. Labour think that the NHS has been massively underfunded in the past 10 years. Uh, under the under the party's rule, um, they haven't had the funding they need. The NHS has seen a massive drop in nurses and doctors and there is enough being done to get these docs into place. We want to give more money to the NHS, we want to fund the NHS and get them what they need. We need to improve the NHS's services and stop waiting times. The Green Party believe that we should invest more money in the NHS, at least £6 billion, pounds, a lot of money, to help bring more doctors and nurses to NHS to overall benefit the UK. So the Liberal Democrats would create a health and care convention working with patients, public and um, NHS staff to ensure our health care is sustainable and efficient and to show us exactly how we're spending our money. And we'd also raise taxes by 1%, uh, generating £60 billion a year and we'd give all of this um, to the NHS for spending. What we want to do is we want to put money where it should be. We are currently, we are currently giving £14 billion a year in foreign aid to countries who will spend that money on their military and who will execute homosexuals. We can't allow that to happen. We will redirect that money into our NHS so that it can be properly funded. We are the real party of the NHS because we will allow the NHS to thrive the way it should. Mwah! The NHS is a colossal organisation. And like all big organisations, there are many issues and inefficiency within its structure. This is due to poor management and lack of financial planning. I propose a complete dress down and restructuring of the NHS, allowing us to increase its efficiency, financial situation and making it run more effectively to best meet the needs of the British public. Absolutely, 100% yes. We need to do more to solve the climate emergency right now. We're not bothered about it and if we don't focus on it more, it's going to have disastrous results for our future and for the earth as a whole. We absolutely also believe that there's a climate crisis and the Lib Dems will take it seriously, unlike Conservative. Um, we even disappointed David Attenborough when he didn't turn up to the climate debate. So we would help uh, the environment by planting 60 million trees a year, um, increasing uh, renewable energy by 80% by 2030 and um, spending 100 billion on climate action. The idea that the Conservative Party are not the party for 
for, uh, to tackle, tackle climate change is absolute folly. It's an absolute, it, it, it's an invention. We are the party to, ta to tackle climate change because we are the party who declared a climate emergency. And we are now putting measures in place to tackle that. We have some fantastic policies to renew transport, to renew um, asthma inhalers, to create a better way to do that because they produce just as, m as many carbon emissions as cars on the road do. We have a fantastic policy. We will get these policies enacted and what we will do is fight the climate emergency in the way that it should be fought. I think climate crisis is the wrong word for it. I think we're facing an ecological crisis. We have a duty to the many animals and ecosystems of the world to protect them and the planet that they live on. Between CO2 emissions and plastic pollution, we are failing in that duty. I want to reduce these, not because of extreme weather, we've always had that. In Victorian times, they would take elephants onto the frozen Thames for a winter circus. I say we focus on, so on saving the planet and its inhabitants as a whole, and the enhanced greenhouse effect will be quelled as a result of this. I think to say we're not in a climate crisis is the biggest ignorance um, one could have. We are most definitely in a climate crisis, and Labour want to reduce this. Labour want to turn every source of energy production green by 2030, which is way before any other party will give you. We want to be carbon neutral by 20, way before 2050, which, like other parties, is what they're aiming for. We believe we're the party for this, we believe we have the ideas and the power to do so, but we need the people's vote. So we want to recruit 20,000 more teachers and increase school funding by 10 million a year by 2025. We'd also increase uh, teacher starting salaries to £30,000. And this is all to make sure that children are getting the best education possible, um, as well as providing free school meals to all primary schools to make sure that the um, younger children are getting the care they need. And um, we also would reinstate maintenance grants for the poorest university students to help them out. As of education, it's very simple. We want to invest in education. And when it comes to university education, that's another place that we want to tackle. At the moment, the millennial generation ha are, you know, they're so sensitive. It is obscene. And that is because university lecturers are creating a safe space. Now they can go into a safe space. Uh, uh, instead of hearing a lecturer they don't like, they can hear puppies. They can have free counselling. I don't need counselling after I hear Jeremy Corbyn speak. I just need a bucket. What we will do is create a generation of young people who can lead this country and do it in the best possible way. By rethinking the education system, we can, we can create a revolution. Unlike Labour, who would like to tax or better yet abolish the very institution you're currently sat in, I would encourage more private institutions like Hill House. By offering tax rebates for those that attend private schools, we would reduce stress on the state school system, increase the standard of education and create more jobs. And save the UK a lot of money that can be invested in the state system. People will tell you that Labour want to abolish private schools. Labour recognise that that is not possible. <laughs> to put 600,000 people out of education and put them into the state school system, which under the Conservatives is already overflowing, is just not possible. And we recognise that. We do not like the charitable status that private schools get. They are not a charity. They are a business. They operate like a business and belong to other businesses. And we believe that that is how they should be taxed as well. Um, we also believe that it's very unequal between private schools and state schools. And actually, um, one of the main differences between state schools and uh, private schools is class size. And we would like to invest a lot more money into education and the sort of invest into state schools to bring them up to the quality that private schools have. As the Green Party, we want to invest more money in education to overall improve the quality of education that young people are receiving so they can go on and have better futures and have better careers overall. We want to scrap to no more tuition fees to help those younger people who get to get a better start in life. Okay, last question, and I'll just preface this a bit um, before letting each of you answer in turn, starting with the Conservatives. Brexit Party, you have no MPs. You are a, uh, a party that is only a couple months, years old. Labour, you have one of the most unpopular leaders uh, on a national scale. The Green Party, you have one MEP uh, and despite being around for years, have never gained traction. Liberal Democrats, 
Um, while you've had some success in recent years, there's no doubt that in the last decade, you were certainly on a downward trajectory. And conservatives, uh, despite being in, in power for, for 10 years, you have a, a record which is questionable at best. Can you explain to us why uh, you are the right person to lead this country or school into 2020 and beyond Conservative Party? So you've seen your options today. You can have a Barker government that will strengthen the economy, invest where investment is needed, and will guide the UK out of the European Union in the best possible way. That is your choice. You have that or a bunch of great supine protoplasmic invertebrate jellies. What you need to do is back Barker to get Brexit done. Back Barker to make us leave the EU in a good way and back Barker to allow our country to win on the national stage like it deserves to. Why am I the right candidate? Well, I'm certainly not the left candidate, but in these uncertain times, in these uncertain times, you need a leader who has the best interests of the country at heart, who can navigate Brexit properly without Ollie B's Brexit treaty without the Lib Dems anti-democratic plan to stop Brexit altogether that you voted for, and without Labour who don't even know what they want for Brexit or probably what Brexit is at this point, and you want to vote for Brexit, who, for me who will lead this country to a great, a great time where Great Britain will become the superpower it once was again. Not for Labour, not for any of these who will lead to more uncertainty and more delay. Why me? Well, first of all, I believe that, you know, a leader should be able to be seen when stood on stage, which uh, other MPs might not be. I have a voice and Labour have a voice. We are a, pe we are a party of the people. We will stand for the people, not for the businesses and the rich, the rich people down south, but for the north, for us. For you guys sat watching this video, we will stand for you and we will get you what's best for you. The Green Party, we are the absolute, we are 100% the right party to lead the UK into 2020. We will overall, our most important issue by far is the climate emergency. We need to help our planet, reduce carbon emissions overall, make the world greener because if there's no planet, there's no future, if there's no future, there's no us. The Conservative and Brexit Party are both very right winged while um, Labour is obviously very left winged. Um, whereas the Liberal Democrats are much more central. The school will be safe with me, unlike with Labour, who may not want to abolish them, but they want to make them much more expensive. So the people struggling to get into private schools, like me or many others in this school, may not be able to come to schools like these. And we have the skills to make it successful, so we have um, a not uncertain future.